गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वॉन्स अगेन आई एम हियर टू टेक योर क्लास सब्जेक्ट हिस्ट्री क्लास टेन आई स्टार्ट द सेकेंड चैप्टर द राइज ऑफ नेशनलिज्म सो फार आई कैन रिमेंबर दैट आई हैड कंप्लीटेड द फर्स्ट क्लास द फैक्टर्स हुच रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ नेशनलिज्म under the headings the social the religious reformment second the repressive colonial policies of lord lytton third i discussed the role of creation literature fourth i discussed the economic exploitation today i am going to discuss about the formation of indian national Congress. The Indian National Congress was formed in the year 1885. But before the formation of Indian Congress, the ground for the formation of Indian Congress started from the second half of the 19th century. The second half of the 19th century it is the period of emergence of number of the organizations in different parts of the country as among the people especially in the first half of the 19th century and the later second half of the 19th century the among the people there is a growth of national consensus and the feelings of nationalism results it gives birth of number of political body number of political organization in different parts of the country though the growth of nationalism especially initiated by the first man who was called the first modern man of india the man of renaissance raja ramon roy with his organization brahmo samaj or brahmo sabha later the jyotiba phule and dayananda saraswati by giving the slogan india for the indians by giving the slogan swaraj by giving the slogan swarajyo and they were all trying to revive the past glory of indian heritage results the growth of indian nationalism there was a awareness among the peoples and because of this political awareness number of political organizations were set up in different parts of the country the first political body which was set up first organization which was set up before the formation of indian national congress in 1837 or 38 the landlord society the landlord society the british bengal india society the bombay association madras native society pune sarvajanik sabha east india association indian association british india society many organizations were set up in different parts of the country one of the most important common characteristics of this organization which formed before the inc these were only confined in a particular region and they had no nationalistic outlook these organizations were formed to fulfill their own interest the narrow interest these political organizations which are formed before the inc was called the forerunner of indian national congress among these organization two were most important as far as slavers number one the east india association the east india association association 1868 second 
नंबर टू इंडिया एसोसिएशन इंडिया एसोसिएशन 1876 दिस टू वेर वेरी प्रोमिनेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड स्पेशली फॉर्म विथ ऑल इंडिया कैरेक्टर फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ द इंडियन पीपल टू एड्रेस द ग्रीवांसेस ऑफ इंडियन पीपल इन एक्सपोज ट्रूली द ब्रिटिश नेचर ऑफ एक्सप्लोइटेशन एंड दे रेज देयर वॉयस ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द इंडियंस and against the british government against the british policies so these two organization first time come forward with the larger outlook that is to protect the indians of the the protect the rights of the indians as a whole so now the next questions come je who founded east india association the founders name of this organization dada bhai navroji dada bhai navroji dada bhai navroji founded this organization with the indians living in england and the british retired ics officers with the collaborations of british people and along with the indians living in england with the help of these two group of people the east india association came to exist in 1868 in england what was the objectives of east india association the main objective of east india association to inform the british people to inform the british member of parliament to inform the british government about the actual conditions of the india in what ways the people of india safari in what ways the british government in india exploiting the indians masses the indian resources in what ways the british government ignoring the welfare of the indian people this is india association act as the platform to ventilate the voice of the indian people and act as a meeting ground between the english peoples and the indians living in england initially this organization started only with 600 members but later the membership goes to increase more than 1000 not only that the branches of this organization were set up in different parts of the country especially the chennai the mumbai and the kolkata so within very short period this organization got popularity among the indians dada bhai navroji left no stone unturned to highlight the grievances the ventilate the grievances of the indian people in england and convince the british people to address and find a solution of the indian problems dada bhai navroji firmly believe that basically the british were very just fair and good if we convince them about the actual conditions of the india under the british rule i firmly believe that the british will do positively for indians naturally we need to convince them we need we need to intimate them we need to inform them in a right platform that is why the east india association was founded in 1868 all the important organizations besides this founded by another bengali leader s n benarji s n benarji surendranath benarji in 1876 surendranath benarji the uncrown king of bengal not set up not only this organization but also the other organizations like indian national conference so what was the objectives of indian association 
the main objective of indian association to encourage the people to participate in the political activities in the country second to communicate to all those people to all those leaders who were working in different parts of the country for the cause of motherland and third important thing to act as the body of public opinion a fourth to develop the good relationship between the hindus and the muslims with these four objectives the indian association came into exist in 1876 but after the formation of indian association the big challenges came in front of the indian association in the same year almost after 2 years of the formation of indian association two important discrimination law passed by lord lytton number 1 the vernacular press act the vernacular press act and second arms act arms act also the lord lytton reduced the minimum age to appearing in the civil service examination from 21 to 19 years it was sunil banerji under the banner of india national association started the nation wide agitation against the vernacular press act which was highly discriminatory in nature again and against the arms act he also demanding to repeal revoke the decisions to reduce the minimum age from 21 to 19 years for the indians for appearing in the civil service examination no doubt it was because of the agitations organized by s n banerji under the banner of indian association the next high soil lord reform in 1881 repeal the arms act and the vernacular press act it was a great achievements of indian association across the country and indian association very much successful to united the people against the british government it was very much successful to create a strong public opinion against the british government and indian assen banerji especially played a very very important role with this organization with the help of this organization when the british decided to split the bengal to divide the bengal into two parts east bengal and the west bengal so besides the east indian association and indian association i told you name of various organizations like the landlord society british india association the bengal british india society ah uh, Bengal Society, Madras Hindu Society, Bombay Association, Pune Sarvajanik Sabha. Since these are not in the syllabus, I am not going to discuss. As far as your syllabus, these two organizations before the formation of INC included in the syllabus. That's why I discuss today the East Indian Association and Indian Association. Now I am going to discuss the formation of INC. INC. Indian National Congress was formed in the year 1885 at Bombay now Mumbai with only 72 delegates with only 72 delegates the great hall sri krishna memorial in mumbai the indian national congress came into existence before the formation of indian national congress one of the important organization founded by mr l a o hume elan octavian hume it was indian national union indian national union this indian national union converted into indian national congress in 1885 who founded indian national union Elan Octavian Hume in which year 1884 84 so who was Elan Octavian Hume Elan Octavian Hume by birth an english man 
he was an english retired civil service officer after retirement from the job he decided to stay here and to work for the upliftment of indians political conditions and create awareness among the indian peoples with this objective he took the initiative for the formation of political body which may have the all india character and through this organization ventilate the grievances of the indian people caused by the british actions naturally the elan octavian hume with the consent of then viceroy lord dufferin decided to form a political body a political organization the political organization which will act as a safety valve which will act as the safety valve safety valve what is the function of safety valve to outlet the excess grievances of the people so that we can prevent the burst out suddenly against the british government that means indian national congress initially was formed to protect the british empire to prevent any outbreak like war of independence against the british government in future it was the actual motive behind the formation behind taking the initiatives for the formation of indian national congress it was mr elan octavian hume started to discuss with the political leaders who were working in different parts of the country especially the graduates of kolkata at that time so he wrote a open letter to the graduates of kolkata and appealing to to them he appealed to them why not you are forming a political body the political body through which you can put forward your demands directly to the british government the political body to look after the interest of the indian people the political body which will act for the development for the progress of india the political body which will create awareness and develop a political consciousness among the people ultimately the graduates of kolkata at that time accepted the proposal and just now i told you before the formation of inc already indian 1884 mr elan octavian hume founded the indian national union in 1885 and a conference of this organization was supposed to held next year in pune but due to break out of plague in the pune the venue was shifted from pune to the mumbai to so various leaders various political workers went to mumbai to attend the conference of indian national union wc banerji omesh chandra banerji dalabhai nauroji the great leaders at that time they proposed the formation of indian national congress by changing simply changing the name indian national Uni union to make it indian national congress so naturally those members who were present over there accepted the proposals and 28 to 31st december the three days the conference of the congress was going on and ultimately the indian national congress came into exist wc banerji omesh chandra banerji a renowned bengali barrister of that time he was elected as a president of indian national congress wc banerji so who were the leaders behind the formation of indian national congress besides the wc banerji besides the sn banerji rc dat firosha mehta badrin tayar ji subramaniam ayar henry cotton elan octavian hume many leaders but these were prominent these were stars among in the galaxy of congress 
It was also decided in Mumbai session. The next year, the sessions of the Indian Congress was to be held in Kolkata. Second sessions of Indian National Congress. The second session of Indian National Congress presided by one of the oldest member of Indian National Congress who was affectionately called the Grand Old Man of India, Dadabhai Nauroji. Dadabhai Nauroji, the credit goes to him to preside over the sessions of Indian National Congress thrice. And in that conference, Kolkata conference, number of initial demands Number of resolutions were passed and put forward those demands to the British government. I am giving some example like to reduce the land revenue, to reduce the military expenditure, to provide the soft credit to the farmers, separate the judiciary from the executive. They also work for the freedom of speech, freedom of press, the freedom of journals. Abolition of Indian Council Act. 